Hi, and welcome to the Electronics and Programming Beginner's Guide. Today we're going to do something a little different, and I've been debating whether I want to make this a numbered episode like we have up until now, or whether I want to leave this out of the numbered series because this is technically not about electronics. But I wanted to uh, do a review of the camera bag that I got for my camera equipment, and this is the Low Pro. Uh, Transit Sling 150 AW. So I was so impressed by this that I wanted to do a review on it. And now let's take a closer look. Lowpro makes quite a few different camera bags, and they're very famous for like the, the smaller cases for like point and shoots, etc. Uh, so I spent quite a long time looking for. Uh, camera bag that would fit my needs and the first thing that I want to point out is this is a sling and I'll show you why it's actually very important that this is a sling but it takes a little bit of getting used to because I'm more so uh, familiar with or more often use backpacks but uh, this kind of you know this whole bag here entirely has just so many <coughs> excuse me, uh, so many little uh, uh, attention to detail is the best way I can put it. So let's uh, go through this whole bag top to bottom and we'll take a look at, uh, you know, every kind of attention to detail. Uh, the first one I want to point out is that uh, this piece here is adjustable, so you can adjust it to your comfort. Uh, so I have mine adjusted all the way down. Uh, Another piece of you know, attention to detail is uh, there's these little rubber uh, holders here. And what you can do with that is you can put the strap underneath the holder here so it's out of the way. Uh, this piece right here is a clip that meets up with the strap here, like that. What this is for is if you're moving around a lot or particularly leaning over, the sling design isn't very stable. So what this strap here does for you is allow you to uh, make sure that the uh, backpack or the sling is adjusted to the center of your back. And again, you see these little rubber uh, pieces here that uh, you know allow you to secure the strap out of the way. Another, again, attention to detail is that, let's say you don't want to use this. You're, you know, you don't have to bend over a lot or something like that, or you don't like it, it's in your way. You can kind of just fold it up and there's a little pocket right here. And you can go ahead and essentially hide that strap out of the way. Now you, you know, it, it's uh, in all intents and purposes, it's gone you know you're just using uh, the sling by itself looking at the side here and this part actually took me quite a long time to figure out because uh, low pro doesn't really advertise this and even the, you know there's not really directions available for this there's just a random picture but uh, this is shown to be the uh tripod holder and there's a little label right here that has a little picture of a tripod. And if you look at pictures, the pictures show you that you can take the strap and strap a tripod around it. The thing that stumped me for the longest time is there's uh, an opening right here. And I looked at it and looked at it and looked at it and looked at it. And finally I found that what this opening is for is if you really dig in there, you can pull a little footrest out from underneath. This helps you mount the tripod. The tripod goes through here and then one or maybe even two of the feet of the tripod go in here so that it's uh, attached securely and doesn't fall out. Kind of shame on Low Pro not to advertise this feature, but it's a fantastic feature. And again, the attention to detail is that this isn't always sticking off the side of your bag. If you don't want to carry a tripod with you, all you do is just shove it back in and it's like it was never there to begin with. Looking at the front, there are a couple of other uh, neat features here. Uh, we have a pocket. The pocket you know, sits 
it, it, it's reasonably deep. You can keep st stuff in here. And uh, this isn't just a camera bag. This is actually really also meant to be like a hiking bag, etc. One really neat feature about it is if you look down here, there's a little label that shows you weather. And if you reach inside and pull it open, this is a cover that you can slip around your bag. Almost This almost resembles a shower cap. But uh, this cover allows you to slip it over the bag to keep it uh, watertight. In case you're uh, hiking or something like that and you get caught in the rain, you can use that to protect your bag against weather. And when you're done, it's, it's, it's tethered, as you can see right here. And when you're done using it, all you would do is just shove it back in here and you will never forget it. It's always with you. I said the tether is a great feature. <clears throat> Finally coming around to the final side. Uh, first of all, there is a compartment in here that you can store a tablet in. Uh, I actually store a cable in there because I don't uh, carry a tablet with me. This is a, a HDMI to a uh, mini HDMI so that I can uh, plug my camera into the TV, but nice little compartment in here. And now we come to the arguably the best feature of this whole system is the side access compartment. And if we go ahead and unzip it and look inside, what the side compartment does is allow you access to the inside of the bag without having to undo the main compartment. I will demonstrate what this looks like when uh, we uh, finish looking at all of the inside pieces, but uh, this kind of little access hole, as you can see, I like to keep the camera right in here and the microphone will, uh, lives in here, the big the shotgun mic I have, which I've showed you before. But uh, you can get at the camera very easily without having to take the bag completely off and fumble around in the main compartment. Now let's take a look at what the inside of the bag looks like. And another great feature of this is that Lowepro segregated the different compartments inside the bag. If I unzip the bag about halfway to about here, I can open this flap and there's a little compartment here. We have uh, some netting which I keep my uh, regular point and shoot camera in here and uh, the charger for it. And so this netting, you can put cables and stuff. Uh, the uh, microphone that I'm wearing right now to record this, the lapel mic, I normally keep in here. And then on the back here, there's a little compartment. I keep like SD cards in there and stuff like that. And something that's neat about it, there's a little carabiner type device that's tethered to inside the pocket. You could put keys on this if you don't want to lose them accidentally, that kind of thing. <clears throat> the reason why this compartment is segregated from the other ones is there's this uh, piece in the middle here and it's entirely Velcroed in place. And uh, to get at the rest of the bag, you just unzip it all the way and kind of pull on this and now you're into the whole bag. Like so. Uh, this piece is not removable, but you can unhook it like that. And if you take a look inside, let me get a better angle on this. Uh, I have the bag separated into one big compartment and two smaller compartments. So this compartment right here is the one I showed you you can access from the side. I keep the uh, camera in there and this is kind of an Achilles heel of a Sony camera. The battery, if you leave it in the camera, the camera will drain the battery. The, uh, the parasitics are quite bad. Oh well, so I'll keep a battery separate from the camera and the camera in this compartment here. In this compartment here, I have the charger and any kind of accessories and whatnot that go along with the camera. I'm actually charging the other battery for it right now. That's why it's not in here. <clears throat> Uh, these uh, pieces here uh, are entirely detachable. I actually rearranged this compartment. It was arranged slightly differently. As you can see, it's all in Velcro. 
uh, this piece comes out, this piece comes out, and originally was arranged to uh, for uh, like a DSLR or something with a large lens. So I rearranged it to better f uh, suit my needs. Now let me uh, close this guy back up and let me show you why uh, that side compartment right here is so important and why it's such a great feature of Low Pro and why it's important that uh, this bag is a sling. Here is what I think is the best feature of this whole uh, low pro uh, uh, transit uh, sling system. And as I mentioned previously, the fact that it's a sling is very important because with a backpack, this doesn't work as well. When I wear this bag, I like to use the side strap because I find it feels a little more secure on my body. I'm walking around and let's say I want to use the camera. So it's very easy, you unhook the strap. Because it's a sling, all I do is swing the bag around and that compartment we looked at earlier, I undo that compartment and I grab the camera and I can grab the mic if I wanna use the mic. And it's that easily accessible and it's all made possible by the sling. When I'm done doing what I'm doing, I go ahead and swing the bag all the way around, grab the strap here and connect it up and um, I've got my camera, I'm ready to go. I wanna put my camera away, same thing. Grab that, bring it around, unzip the compartment. I've got the camera, I've got, I can put away the camera, put away the mic, etc. I don't ever have to access this main compartment. It's, to me, it's arguably the best feature of this entire system, not counting the fact that it holds the tripod, it has that uh, waterproof uh, jacket that you can put around, just the fact that it's this easy to access the insides of the camera. And also if you're doing a lot of traveling and you want to use this as a backpacking bag, <coughs> uh, sitting down uh, in like a trolley, a tram, kind of public transportation or whatnot, if you need to sit down and lean back, you just bring this around and lean back and this backpack isn't in the way. You don't have to take it all the way off. And then when you're ready to go, you just swing it around. Sometimes you do have to fix this. Bring this up here and you're ready to go. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about this uh, Transit Sling uh, A, uh, 150AW, uh, please don't be afraid to uh, comment down below. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please uh, give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you like uh, my videos. Also, as I mentioned, I don't know whether I should include this as a numbered video uh, because this is not electronics related. Uh, if you have any suggestions for me, uh, again, please comment down below. Thank you for watching.